G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and this video is being produced for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, I like learning new things all the time, um, and uh, I was browsing Delphi feeds, as I do, and uh, reading some of the posts, and I came across this one um, by Heron Plumers, if I've pronounced his name correctly. Um, and he points to a Stack Overflow post, uh, question, um, this one regarding numbers in DFM files. Um, I don't think I've ever noticed these before, um, and this is basically a a post, uh, and this is the, the, the uh, accepted answer. Um, and so we'll just uh, go over this really briefly. Um, so let's go to Delphi and we'll create a new project. And we'll create a VCL forms application. And what I'll do is basically throw um, a couple of panels on, just as an example. And what I'm going to do is overlap them. Uh, and throw a oops, third panel uh, just out of the way, uh, as, as an example. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new other and go to inheritable items and create a um, create form 7 which inherits from form 6 as you can see here. So um, if I look at the source code to this for the form, they're going alt F12, we'll see that it, it doesn't describe very much at all um, and basically just inherits everything from uh, form 6. Now, if, if I move this panel slightly and and resize it, uh, and now look at the source code to it, we'll see that we've now got an inherited panel 3 with a whole bunch of new properties. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, reverse the order of these two panels, and I'm going to just do that by right-clicking and going center back. And we'll see that uh, we've now got these magic numbers, and they basically, uh, as best I can tell, indicate the Z order, uh, which order to draw the panels. So, um, panel 2 is now at the back, uh, so it gets drawn first, so it's 0, 1, and panel 3 doesn't get a number because it's, um, uh, it doesn't matter what order this is drawn in because it's not obscured by anything. So that, that's basically what those uh, numbers mean. Um, we can, I can actually create a um, VCL frame, and this time just throw a couple of buttons and make it nice and big, and do something similar with that one, and overlap them again. I'll just make this frame a bit smaller. Uh, I can go here and now throw that frame on. Um, and if I you know, move move a button slightly or something like that, and view the source code, which we can't because we've got that one up, and I'll just uh, hide the form on that so we can view the source on this one, and we can see what our inline frame um, button one's not mentioned because all its properties are inherited. Button two gets uh, mentioned because we've changed its position, and if I do the same thing, uh, send it back, we get the magic numbers on the end of the control descriptions to say that button 2 is behind button 1. Uh, I'm not actually sure explicitly why it's necessary because um, we've, we've reversed the order. Uh, we've got button 2 before button 1, um, whereas on our frame um, we've got button 1, button 2. Um, but obviously there is there is some deep uh, deep meaning in it, in it for the um, uh, VCL streaming. So that's um, all I wanted to cover. Um, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv.